Hi everybody, my name is Rob Groot and I'm going to bring you another Python tutorial for pandas with the map for series and apply map for data frame functions. Uh, basically map and apply map are useful when you want to perform some operation to every element in your series or data frame. Uh, and it's just a concise way to do it without having to, you know, take it all out into a list and then make it into a new data frame, which that's amateur stuff. So <laughs> first we'll start off by importing uh, pandas as pd, as always, and we'll also import numpy uh, as np. And we'll just let that run. And we'll make a data frame here. I'm just going to copy and paste a data frame that I made before. I will call it df is a random 3x3 three three data frame. Looks like this. Nothing special. It's just random uh, numbers between 0 and 1. And we printed that out. And let's also define a function. I'm going to call it add1. Uh, and I can't think of any new function names as you saw in my last tutorial. But we're just going to say return x plus 1. So all this function does. Uh, is add one to anything. So if I say add one of three, it's going to give me back four. It returns uh, three plus one. Simple enough, right? Well, what if we want to do that to every single element in this data frame, and we don't want to have to take everything out and map it to uh, like a like a NumPy array and like do an operation on it that way? There's a very easy way we can do this, and that's uh, apply map. So you could go df dot apply map. And then you just say your function name, add one. And voila, it returns my entire data frame now with everything added to one to each element in the data frame. Um, another way I'll just show you quick, because this is often how you'll see it written in the docs. Uh, and you can look at my other tutorial on Lambda for this. If you don't know what Lambda does, it's just like an anonymous way of creating functions. We could say something like this to just do the exact same thing to our data frame. Uh, and then we'll just enter that and it gives me the exact same result and all that this is is a little way of writing a function that won't have a name this is an unnamed function in here it doesn't exist uh, after we run this unlike the add one function which is saved in memory then and we could use as we did before uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is why this is useful. Um, if you have something like this, I was working with a lot of financial data for a while, so I would see things like this, like Yahoo gives you data in terms of market cap with like a B for billion at the end, and we wanted to uh, like actually get the integer for 1.1 billion rather than this little 1.1 B, because we couldn't do anything uh, with that, like with analytics, like that, that's not a number. Uh, other programs don't understand that 1.1b. And so what we actually did was something like this. I'm just going to copy and paste this in. We did df2, this df, uh, dot apply map, and we did lambda so that every x returns x up to the last one in the list, not including the last one in the list. And we got something like this. So we just took away all the b's from here. And then from this point, you would do something like. Uh, you'd multiply everything by 1 billion, or sometimes you have m's and b's, so it gets a little bit more complicated, but that's pretty much it for apply map. Uh, it, it's pretty useful if you use it like that. Save you some time. Now, I want to talk about uh, using series.map, uh, or using map on series, because this is apply map. This applies to data frames, but if you want to do one operation on a whole series of values, you do, well, let's just make a series first call it my series. I'm just going to copy and paste this in and I'll show you it my series and it's pretty normal looking series just a couple numbers and I put a nan in there too. Just getting a little frisky. Um, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, so we can do something like this my series dot map and let's try our function from before. We want to add one to every single number in here. We get 101, 201, 301, 401, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but what do we do with this nan? Uh, now, the default argument here is na action equals none, which means that, and we get the same result you'll see when I run that. Uh, basically, whenever it sees a nan, it, does, it, it doesn't 
it doesn't ignore it. It tries to perform the operation on it. But maybe you don't want to perform actions on NANDs. Like, maybe you want it to make an exception when you hit... Maybe that's, like, missing data for you or something like that. Uh, so then you could do something like this. You could change that to ignore. I'm just going to put it as a string. It's the keyword to ignore NANDs. Now, it's not going to make a difference here. But if I do something like this... Uh, my series dot map and we'll do lambda again stick with that and say we maybe want to put everything into a string I want to just have some indication of what kinds of values are in my data frame or uh, series at this point this is and then we do dot format of x and all that this does is take the integer and it puts it into this string uh, enclosed in these brackets right here, but those don't show. So we get this is 100, this is 200, this is 300, this is 400, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but then we get this is nan. Maybe we wouldn't want to do this little operation. And this is kind of a trivial example because we're just putting it into a string. But maybe you're doing something else that actually is going to affect your data. Then you can actually use that NP or uh, NA action ignore and then you won't do that to any of the NANDs. And we'll just do that just for the sense of completion and you see that this is disappears so it's not performing that operation of the NAND it's ignoring that. Alright I think that's about it for my series or series.map and df.applymap. Remember these are used the same ways uh, as other methods. Um, you have to put in the series name or the data frame name first and then you do dot map or dot apply map. And you can't use dot apply map to, at least not that I, I haven't tried using dot apply map to a series. Uh, I don't think that you can though. And map, you can't do to data frames. All right, so I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, if it did, please be sure to give the video a like um, and check out the rest of the channel if you're needing any help with any other Python kinds of things because I have plenty of other tutorials on pandas, Python, and all other kinds of programming topics there. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.